it took a little while before I could turn on my camera and hold it up. I came out here and sat down on a bucket on, under the shelter and every single one of those goats thought that I had something for them. And they all came and nibbled all over me like they were biting. I know they don't have teeth on both the top and the bottom, but it still hurts. It pinches. <laughs> Little stinkers. So anyway, this is not my normal video today. Today we are doing um, a challenge or a collaboration of sorts. It's called um, Five Questions, I think. At least that's what I've seen it called. I've also seen it um, titled as I've been tagged. That's probably what I'm gonna go with. I like I like being tagged. Tag you're it, you know? That makes it funner, right? It's like a game then. So I have been tagged by Trisha Trisha and Jonah over at Willow Creek Homestead. And they had they had their video up uh goodness, I guess it was well over a month ago. It was during the time when we had everything going on with the goats, so I haven't had a chance to reply to the video until now. So they tagged me, and at the end of this video, I will also tag some people. So, the questions are, what are three channels that inspire me? What are three things that I am good at? What are three things that I am excited about? What are four things that help me relax? And I need to tag five homesteading channels. So that's me reading off my notes here from Trisha. All right, so I've got my camera set up on a tripod, so I apologize if it's a funny angle. Hopefully the goats won't come over here and knock it down. So. Three channels that inspire me. Obviously, the number one channel that's ever inspired me is the one that inspired me to begin YouTubing myself, and that is the Justin Rhodes channel. Um, I know he's inspired a lot of us to begin YouTubing, um, and I think that that's great, and I'm glad that so many people have followed that path, because I've met a lot of great people that I never would have met if I didn't start YouTubing. And some of you have become like my best friends. So very grateful that I was able to meet them in person when they came through for the Great American Farm Tour, day number seven. If you didn't see that video, it is the $5 chicken tractor is the name of the video that they did. Um, we did a video too, but it wasn't as good as Justin's, of course. That was back when I still used my cell phone and the free video editor on YouTube. <laughs> Plus, I was pretty new at what I was doing. <laughs> but yeah, that's um, the number one most inspirational. I would say that the number one person who inspired me when I was brand new and starting out when I didn't know if my videos were good enough to keep doing it. When I didn't have confidence that I was doing a good thing. Real early on, I had somebody called Miss Judy. A lot of you may know her. Miss Judy, or MJ, Healthy Living. She is a wonderful person. I don't see her nearly as often as I used to, but when I first started YouTubing, she would comment on every single video I did, encouraging me and telling me how good I was doing. And that is probably one of the number one reasons why I kept making videos and why I went into investing into a camera and doing the whole nine yards because I really felt, she made me feel special. She made me feel like I could actually do a good job with YouTube. and that was the confidence that I needed to keep going forward. So a big thank you to her because she was a huge inspiration. Number three for people who have inspired me, channels that have inspired me, would definitely be Peoria, dude. 
or bobblehead homestead um, or the dude or Jeff or whatever you know him by um, he is a huge inspiration to me and a friend of mine um, and he inspires me because he keeps going forward every time he keeps making steps forward he is constantly improving his own life and the life of others with his videos and he is so generous in his knowledge and his time and he keeps just doing better and better and I'm so excited because he just got his trailer <laughs> fancy girl is trying to eat the camera right now what are you doing oh that's your stool sorry <laughs> little miss thing you just you just heard me talking about Peoria dude you wanted to come say hi to him hmm a little munchkin so yes Peoria dude Jeff bobblehead homestead whatever you know him as he is a huge inspiration to me he's come from nearly nothing and he now has his own homestead purchased doesn't have living quarters necessarily but he will he will fix up whatever he has to to make it work because that's how he is that's who he is he's very inspirational very inspirational so that would be number three what are you doing Fern you had to come see what fancy was doing you too Rosemary what are you doing fancy you are all up in my space you are my baby. This goat is so spoiled. She is so affectionate. She needs a new collar. I'll get you a new collar. Yeah. Hi, Rosemary. <laughs> Hi, Fern. Oh, no. You see Fern had her horns burned. I might have to do it a second time because I waited too long. But they look like I got them pretty good, so hopefully I won't have to redo them. Alright, next is three things I'm good at. Well, I don't really, this, that's a hard one for me. I don't really feel like there's really much of anything that I'm good at. Um, I mean, there's plenty of things I do well. I'm a good mom. I'm a good goat lady. I make good cheese. I don't, I don't have like specific talents like I have so many people I know that they either make excellent soap or they crochet or they you know arts and crafts of some sort I'm not as artsy and craftsy as I wish I would be I always wanted to be artsy and craftsy I like arts and crafts I like doing it I just I've never really found one that I really connect to well and do well. I'm good at homesteading. <laughs> I'm good with chickens. I'm a good farmer. I'm a good gardener. So that's probably more than three but none of them were really good strong things I'm good at. So those are just things that I'm kind of good at. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? What what are you, what would you consider three things I'm good at? Three things I am excited about. Well, one big one is a week from today is when I will be getting on a plane and going to Virginia for the Homesteaders of America conference. I will be staying with a friend there, um, a friend I made through YouTube who has been generous enough to offer up her home for room and board for me to stay and she also got me a ticket to the conference and arranged for my transportation to be taken care of so I'm super super grateful for that and her generosity and her family's generosity and I'm really excited about 
going to the homestead of America's conference. I'm gonna get to meet so many of you. Like, if you're going to the conference, please leave it in the comment down below so I can try to look for you because it's gonna be hard because you guys know my face because I do YouTube videos all the time. But a lot of you I know by your name and then I don't know your face. So please leave in the comments below and, and, and we'll try to connect and I'll get to meet some of you. That'll be so awesome. So, something else I'm excited about is that we have a new addition coming to the family. No, not that kind. I'm not having another child. But we do have a new addition. Um, I'm not supposed to be telling you guys that we have a new addition coming to the family. Because Ryan wants to wait until it's officially happened and she's here so i'm gonna just leave it at that i'm super excited about a new addition to our family and you guys will hear about it very soon uh third thing i am excited about is to get my journeyman farmer certification um i've completed all the steps and i don't know what's i i don't know if they're gonna send me the certificate in the mail or if they're gonna wait until um, the Georgia Organics Conference. Cause I know that it was mentioned that they do a special breakfast for journeyman farmers only for the conference. But I don't know if that's when we get our actual certificate or if they send it in the mail before then. So we'll see, I'll find out. I should probably just ask, I haven't even I haven't even asked that question, so I probably should do that. But I'm super excited about it either way. Like, even if I have to wait to get the certificate till the winter, um, I'm still really excited to be getting that. To really, truly complete another step in my path, in my journey. It's really a good feeling. Four things that help me relax. Well, obviously, hanging out with my goats really, really helps me relax. I love my goats. And they love me, as you can see. Hi, Chaos. Even sweet little shy Chaos. Oh, she's so shy. I went to touch her chin. She jumped back. But she has no trouble coming right up and nuzzling my camera lens that I need to wipe off now. So, three things that help me relax. So, the goats. Um, gardening. Gardening always helps me relax. Especially if I just have to pull weeds and not really do much of anything and it's very therapeutic or watering watering the garden is very therapeutic i enjoy that i need to do it but we're expecting a lot of rain this weekend so holding off because i don't want to water if mother nature is going to provide enough this weekend i don't want to overdo it oh my goodness maybe i should take back the they help me relax <laughs> What are you doing? You can't eat my phone. Crazy goats. They all just decided they were going to come back up here again. Give me some love. Loving on mama. Loving on mama. These sweet babies. <laughs> You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Love my goats. Another thing that I would say that helps me relax is a nice, long, hot bubble bath. But I never get to do that anymore. We have a one bathroom house, for one. For two, there's no lock on it. There's no way to put a lock on it because it's, a, it's an antique door and the frame the way it lines up there's nowhere where you could actually put like even a sliding lock or a hook lock and for three rowan and liam would never allow me to have a long hot soak in a bath without interrupting <laughs> but when they're a little bit older hopefully i'll be able to have my long hot bath i missed that <laughs> i just looked at my notes again it's supposed to be four things that help me relax so I'm gonna say for the fourth is a glass of wine in the evening. I like to I like to have a nice glass of wine in the evening if I can. That's always very relaxing as well. And now to tag my five channels. 
I didn't even think about this, but just automatically, um, I should have checked to see who's already been tagged and who's already done videos, but I'm just gonna do it automatically off the top of my head. Bobblehead Homestead, I want to tag you, or Peoria dude on YouTube. Sorry, Steam it is, on Steam it, he's Bobblehead Homestead, so that's why I keep calling him that. But Jeff, my buddy. And I want to tag Gilbrook Farms. And I want to tag Chickawoof Ranch. And um, Rain Country. I think that would be a good one to see. And how many did I say already? So, period, dude, Guildbrook, Chickawoof, Rain Country. There was somebody else that I had thought of earlier. Of course, how could I forget? I would like to also tag Patara at Appalachia Homestead. So, those are my tags, and I will um, try to remember to send you guys messages on YouTube or Facebook if I have a better connection to you there or email and I will tag you in the comments down below I mean in the description down below I think that's it that's that's the video that's that's the tags that's the questions they've all been answered my goats are so silly and cute chaos is just over here eating hay that she just dumped out of the box Decided she was going to dump it out to eat it, huh? And then Hearts is over there licking the salt block. Ryan got them a pink Himalayan salt block. Just for fun. Even though they get their minerals as a loose mineral. Because that's better for goats. Mm -mm. But they do like this. I was surprised. I've always heard that goats don't lick salt blocks. They sure I've been licking this one. Very precious. Very precious one. You've gotten so big. All these goats have gotten so big. I just love them. Look at this, the baby. <laughs> Babies. Let me just lick the, the hay crumbs from the bottom of the bucket. Sweet babies. They have eaten this paddock down fast. This is what Ryan had just set up for them, but He'll be changing it tomorrow or the next day when he's off. And you see how the goats make their own dust baths? They do this usually wherever there's a fire ant hill, they'll actually turn it into a dust bath. But if there's even the slightest opening in the ground, they turn it into a dust bath and will literally roll in the dust. Just like the chickens. They're, look at them just pile, look at Shady's head is coming out from underneath. <laughs> Oh, she popped up again. Silly goats. Silly happy goats. <sighs> what do you got to say about it, huh? Huh, mama? Thank you for watching Wholesome Roots. Please like, share, and comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.